A former Palace employee who claims to have been bullied by Meghan has urged Buckingham Palace to release staff from non-disclosure arrangements and reject Harry and Meghan's lies, ahead of their Netflix series launch. The only way to end it once and for all is for us to be allowed to speak and for the Palace to firmly reject their lies, the former employee said. I certainly have chosen to remain silent out of respect for the Crown, but if they keep attacking us and our characters, reputation etc, we need to feel we're equally supported by the royal family. It's emotionally draining, they said. It feels like there's no end to it. The former employee called on the palace to step up by lifting all of the non-disclosure agreements and said they should publicly respond to the Sussexes' attacks. The former employee also believes that Meghan has been trying to push other former palace employees into breaking their confidentiality agreements so that they can be taken to court. She knows we can't financially protect ourselves by going to court, so she keeps pushing. It's all a game for her, and she's loving it. Palace staff are said to be seething with rage after the trailers for the series were released, a source said. Royal sources have insisted it was absolutely wrong to suggest the couple had been briefed against and insisted unprecedented steps had been taken to support them. One insider told the Daily Telegraph that royal staff were instead bending over backwards to work with them. They added it was non-stop on their behalf when it came to defending them against negative stories, which began when rumours emerged of the couple's behaviour towards staff. Other former employees who worked for the Sussexes have also questioned the narrative being put out by Netflix. One pointed to the scenes of frenzied media activity in the trailer that had been revealed as relating to Katie Price rather than the Sussexes. They said, She never confronted scenes where she was mobbed because we did so much to protect her, so they had to make them up. Less than 24 hours apart, two of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's members of staff announced their decisions to step down. Since the marriage in 2018, at least 14 staffers have left the Sussex's empire, and this week their head of audio, Rebecca Sinanes, and Archwell Foundation president, Mandana Diani, became the latest to leave Camp Sussex. Not only staffers, but also Harry's pals think Meghan is a 500% nightmare. Royal expert Robert Lacey said friends of the couple had confessed they can understand why Harry's estranged brother, Prince William, is frustrated by the former suit star's antics. Lacey said, Sussex supporters have noted the bizarre combination of self-promotion and self-pity that characterises Meghan and can see why it's infuriated William. Meghan can be a 500% nightmare, some close friends of Harry are among the first to admit. The never-ending PR, she's just so... American. Lacey claimed William and Harry's mutual friends had been hoping for a reconciliation and were urging the brothers to put aside their differences after the pair fell out several years ago. The brothers' friends made up a particularly tightly knit network until the moment of Meghan's arrival, and when the fraternal split followed, for all its depth and bitterness, the circle of friends did not in fact take rival sides, he said. All the mutual friends I've encountered find themselves seeing both points of view, William's defensiveness of the monarchy as he sees it, and Harry's defensiveness of his wife. Love versus duty. This is what makes it so painful.